In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best NVIDIA settings that pro players are using this season to get the best FPS and lowest input delay they can possibly get. And we are also going to be doing some hidden things inside the NVIDIA control panel that you probably haven't done or even heard of before. So make sure you watch till the end of the video so you know how to do them. So guys, now we're on the desktop, we're just going to be right clicking and heading over to that NVIDIA control panel, waiting a second for it to load up. And once it has, we're going to be heading over here to the top left and clicking on adjust image settings with preview, clicking on the bottom option here and dragging this bar all the way down to performance. Once you've done this, click the middle option, use the advanced 3D image settings and click apply. Once you've applied it, we're going to be heading back over here on the left hand side and clicking on manage 3D settings. And I'm going to be telling you guys the best settings that all the pro players are using on here to get the lowest input delay and best frames possible in game. So the first option, image scaling, you want this off. The second one, ambient occlusion, you want this one off. Anisotropic filtering, off. Anti-aliasing dash FXAA, you want this off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction, off. Anti-aliasing mode, off. And all these anti-aliasing settings here, you want all of these off. And all this does is give your game a much sharper look, which is much better for your performance. Now we're going to be heading now to background application, max frame rate, and making sure this is turned off. CUDA GPUs, make sure this is on all. CUDA system fallback policy, make sure this is on driver default. DSR factors, turn this off. DSR smoothness, make sure this is turned off. Low latency mode, put this on on, but if you're on a low end system, I would recommend putting it on ultra. Max frame rate, make sure this is turned off because you want to cap your frames in game, not inside the NVIDIA control panel. Monitor technology, make sure this is on fixed refresh. Multi frame sampled AA in brackets MFAA, make sure this is turned off. Open GL GDI compatibility, make sure this is on preferred performance. OpenGL Rendering GPU, select your graphics card for this option. Power Management Mode, Preferred Maximum Performance. Preferred Refresh Rate, Highest Available. Shader Cache Size, make sure this is on Unlimited. Some people say put it on 100 or 10 gigabytes. Unlimited works for me the best, so mess around with this, but I would recommend putting this on Unlimited. Texture Filtering, Anisotropic Sampling Options, make sure this is turned off. Texture Filtering, Negative LOD Bias, make sure this is on Clamp. Texture filtering quality, high performance. Texture filtering, trilinear optimization, make sure this is turned off. Threaded optimization, off. Triple buffering, off. Vertical sync, off. Virtual reality, pre rendered frames, set this to a value of 1. Virtual reality, variable rate super sampling, turn this off. A Vulkan OpenGL present method, make sure this is set to auto. Once you've applied all these settings, make sure you're heading down to the bottom right and clicking on apply so the settings save. Then we're going to be heading over to program settings to the right of global settings here. And we're going to be doing the secret setting that most of you won't have heard of before. So once you're on here at the top, you want to click add, then click browse, head over to this PC, open up your disk C, head on down to windows, scroll down to the bottom until you see explorer.exe. Click on this and click open. I'm not going to do it because I've got it added here, but make sure you click open. So it adds to the list here. And on here, you want to scroll down until you find power management mode, which is right here. And you want to set this to prefer maximum performance. This makes everything that is ran from Windows Explorer run as high performance and your Fortnite installation path is ran from the Windows Explorer. So make sure you're doing this power management mode to prefer maximum performance to ensure that everything is running at its maximum performance. Once you've done these, you're going to be heading over to the left hand side again and clicking on configure surround and physics. And you're going to set your physics processor to your graphics card, not your CPU. It might be on auto select, so make sure you select your graphics card for this one. And then click apply in the bottom right again. And then we're going to be heading over to adjust desktop size and position on the left hand side again. And we're going to be setting the scaling mode for our monitors to no scaling. Once you've done this, just click apply in the bottom right. And it will make sure there's no scaling modes on your monitors, which results in lower delay. I've now done this for both of my monitors. And also perform scaling on if you have the option for display scaling make sure you're playing display scaling as this also results in lower input delay now the last thing we're going to be doing is heading over to change resolution on the left hand side and make sure we're playing on the highest refresh rate possible for all of our monitors so you just click the drop down on refresh rate and make sure you're playing on the highest refresh rate 
that is going to be it for this video guys make sure to drop a like and subscribe if this video did help you out and if you guys want a personal one-to-one -one tweaking session with me you can join my discord the link for that will be in the description just join make a ticket and i'll be able to tweet your pc so thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next video